like to recognize all of the work that our seminar leader, Karin uh, Detlefsen, did. Um, one of my favorite parts about this experience was being able to be a student um, and really be a student of a wonderful teacher. Um, so Karin has many gifts as a teacher, and I really felt myself challenged as a teacher by being one of her students, um, you know, because having spent some time behind the curtain myself, um, just the way that she was able to lead discussion, um, the way that she was able to connect what we were doing in class to what we were doing um, as teachers. So many times we would show up to class and you know, small talk about the school day and Karin would just sit back and listen. And then inevitably one of the points that we raised about something in class or you know some district policy or what have you um, would make its way into discussion uh, you know, effortlessly. Um, I also want to recognize how accommodating Karin was um, over the course of these very tumultuous months um, where some of us were in school, some of us were out, and you know, it seemed like the plan changed every couple of weeks. Um, so, you know, Karin always chose a really thoughtful selection of readings. Um, sometimes they were annotated in advance of, uh, you know, so that we could really get to the heart of things um, if we were pressed for time. She also began recording lectures um, in advance that sort of synthesized the readings um, that really led to rich discussion. And I know that she went above and beyond to do all this, and I, I really appreciate. Um, that work. And finally, like all good teachers, um, she wasn't afraid to give um, criticism and feedback. And so the, the feedback that we got uh, on our unit plans was really detailed and I think allowed everybody to um, really improve on the work that they were doing. So thank you to Karin. Uh, I've learned a lot and it was a privilege to be in this class. So in terms of the content of the class itself, um, as Edward said, the title of the seminar is about <clears throat> democracy and expertise in science, history, and literature. And so uh, being this that uh, we had a philosophy professor at the helm, um, you know, the first several weeks we spent on the fundamental question of truth, um, exploring this through different angles. So how do uh, people from different backgrounds define truth, whether it's truth in relation to history, truth in relation to art, truth in literature, uh, and how a, a, a country like ours um, is actually a country of many different truths. And so we explore the relationship between truth and power, uh, truth and oppression as it's used um, and has been used in our history and drawing connections to the modern day. Uh, and then we sort of moved to uh, several weeks where we spent uh, about democracy, um, the different forms of democracy we can consider when we learn um, about different forms of government and the ways in which democracy may or may not be compatible um, with the other systems in which we uh, have in our country, our, the systems of oppression, the systems uh, of our economy, um, and also the intersection of, of that with our schooling system. Um, finally, we explored the question, uh, what does it mean to live in a democracy and who is a democratic citizen? Uh, and this was a really rich discussion because uh, I'm a high school teacher, but I was, um, you know, the class was about split between middle and high school and middle and elementary school. And so, thinking about democracy from the perspective of a high school teacher with seniors, which is my case, or hearing from my colleagues who are teaching students in third, fourth, fifth grade, um, how do they you know, address these same issues um, in ways that really um, promote incredible student discussion. So I learned so much from my colleagues um, you know, teaching the younger grades that I am excited to apply to my own classroom. Um, so I'll just conclude by sharing a couple of the uh, unit titles, just to give you a sense of, of where this all ended up. And I think everybody was able to find something that connected to what they were doing. So um, uh, for example, one of the units is entitled Power in the Past, a Philosophical Approach to Historiography. Uh, another one is called This is America, Keep Knocking. Uh, another one is called How the Humanities and Social Sciences Address Today's Political Divide. Another one is called Dance for Social Justice. Another one is called All Voices Heard. Uh, and so you can see just a range of different approaches to the content of the seminar, different ages. Um, and so the final thing I would like to say is just to thank my classmates as well. So in addition to Karin's um, expertise and real uh, just amazing presence as a teacher, uh, I felt so much um, connection to my colleagues in the seminar. I could tell that they really were interested in hearing from each other, that they were really engaged in the discussion and that when we were presenting units, et cetera, um, it was just all support uh, and everybody was genuinely excited and also 
uh, inspired, I think, by what the other colleagues were doing. So with that, uh, I'll pass it back to Edward.